it's just perfect, man. All the long video is still, I can still keep doing them. You are never gonna get over that. No, I love this 32 uh, gigabyte SD card. I, I, that I still got a 64. I still, but anyway, we're through another episode of Day Shine and Jonathan, and we're here to talk about the Naruto War. What do we think of the entire and arc? Madara as a villain, or pretty much. Kind of how man he, he's kind of had an escalator effect, or at least like a uh, a roller coaster effect of him going all the way up and then kind of going back down. And before I start saying anything, I want to say to fanboys, listen, I like Naruto. I've been watching Naruto since it came out. Well, it's not so it came over here to America. Well, honestly, to be perfectly fair with you, and silent jumps. We all kind of looked at Naruto around the same point. However, for pretty much most of us, such as me. It kind of started falling off, man, for me a little bit earlier, kind of when it kind of happened for for, for other wait, people. Wait, 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 and be, before we get into what he about to say, we don't hate it. We not haters. We just voice our opinions as fans, true fans. See the the positive and negative of what they watching or reading, well, or the person they fucking. This is how we are. But well, go ahead. Well, actually, yeah. you see, now I'm gonna enlighten a few people on this. It's like, look. Somewhere around the end of the first season of Naruto leading into Shippuden, I kind of started to to kind of develop this thing in which they, I kind of started man, to make calls upon the show. And and honestly, around the time, this guy right here, he he was a Dahe hard fan. We went now, you know, almost to like fanboy levels of pretty much man, me pretty much saying like, yeah, man, Naruto, he kind of is a broken character because, man, he doesn't necessarily, man, really kind of warrant all this growth, especially since, man, you know, he kind of hasn't lost the battle yet. He only has one move, which, like, instantly kills people. And if you could say that Sasuke battle was a loss, but it... It was kind he of... Was, it Sasuke should have never won that. In the first place. And, honestly, most of his... And, honestly, most of his power... Pretty much, kind of, just made every single battle, you know, tensionless. And pretty much, his only argument at the time was the show's called Naruto. We want to see him do good, but at the same time, we also want man to see, you know, actual growth and loss and actual um and us intention. Now, honestly, going into this, I kind of had to specify that because looking at the war arc now. It's something of like that. We kind of had a conversation about this, like I think, like about like five days ago or, or four days ago, something like that. What day was that? It was, oh, it was a uh, oh, Tuesday. So it was, about, about, it was, about, no, no, Monday. It was about um, uh, it was a few days ago. About, about, about four days ago. Now. And uh, and um, the conversation came up as that like the war itself, how it started, was actually pretty dumb in terms of like if Obito would would have never said anything to anybody. Honestly, he could have just taken out um, Kill Kill uh, Killer B, who was missing at the moment, and honestly, we still have gotten no word of it um, of what has happened to him. Even though technically he's kind of dead now, but you know we don't know what happened to his body. So yeah, there's that. Um, you know he pretty much could have just kidnapped Killer B, which that honestly he does have the strongest um, uh, um, uh, Sharingan in the goddamn dang uh, story. And also, he could have taken out Naruto without him even blinking, um, uh, without even blinking an eye. Especially since that, you know, to actually hit him, they kind of needed Kakashi just so that they man could kind of test the theory to hit him. You ever seen the same? You haven't seen the technique of the same dimension in order to hit him. So technically, Naruto couldn't even hit him anyway. So he could just took Naruto, took the nine tail, took the eight tail, and did a project with not anybody ignoring it, of warning this entire war to begin with. However. They just had to put up the whole thing of, oh, I killed the fire monsters and people that died and all that were in the war. And then they made the same, everybody seemed like they were used to it due to the fact that Naruto came out of nowhere with Rasengan destroying everybody. He would destroy the Rage Kage, third Rage Kage, Rasengan to the elbow and to his chest. So he was so fucking powerful that only himself could beat him. Honestly, he was by far the only tension type character, and that what only, the fuck was that? And most of that was possibly because his character was so brokenly made, or you know, so outrageously made. Is is just the fact that they had to think of like some some obviously silly way just so that man he man could um uh, be beaten. Which 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 that honestly I made a joke about that 
was, um, uh, was like, so pretty much the way he died was that he was so strong that pretty much nobody could hit him but himself. So does that mean when he man was fighting the gigantic monster and shit, does that mean, man, when he went in, man, four man, the final blow, he tripped and just fell on his own hand and killed, um, uh, and killed himself? Is that how, uh, is that what happened? Literally, he did trip and fall on his own hand. I don't think he died off that wound alone. But I'm like, I don't think he did. I may be mistaken. Y'all can't explain that in the description below or the comment section. Like, y'all gonna be like, well, well, listen, the war was that bad. I mean, um, uh, Col oh, wait, name is Troji. He, he fought, uh, Sabasori Sensei or Asuma. He actually fought him and he showed that he was strong. He could do his angel wing without the pill. You see that? A killed him, did something. Y'all ain't going, y'all, y'all ain't look at the bright side. Shut the fuck up. Listen, and listen. I, listen, I know I made a lot of videos about me <laughs> side characters, but I'm like, look. Do you know why I stress the side character so much? Now, honestly, I can understand that, 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 honestly, in my previous videos, I do honestly sound just a little bit biased about it, but honestly, look, we all know the good in Naruto, in which that, yes, man, it, it, uh, it is a very, very, very creative show, the fights are good, and all that other stuff. However, I got to stress this enough, all right? If your show has over 600 chapters, all right, and... Pretty much the biggest story with one of your side char characters is that his teacher has died. You fail, all right. And this, and this, honestly, isn't even talking about man like some of man the little filler things in which they had a ha ha they had man throw in just to show off other characters' abilities. Right, right, right. And before y'all throw in Sasha, he, he, Sasha is a main character, like how Naruto is. Due to the fact that they both got super power ups, they main both of them main characters. You can't call Sasuke a side character, so please do not throw in Sasuke here. But he's, he, he he is a main character. He is a main character, which, which is actually funny to me because Sakura is also a main character, but yet she doesn't really get any. She doesn't do any. Did you see my video? Every girl in Naruto belongs I, in the damn. I honestly it, put the it, idea in. It was your popping head. out at the bottom of my screen for the past, I don't know, six months. I put the idea in your head. I made you realize that. That's because something like, you supposed to be low, by the way. I don't want to add that video there. I'm and gonna, guess I what? I'm making part two of that shit. But, and, uh, and, uh, and guess what? Do you, you see him not running and tripping for. Oh my god. Naruto! Naruto! The, what did you say about her eyesight? I said that, honestly. Going from what this show pretty much kind of put up, um, um, uh, kind of has set up for us, all right? If pretty much the Sage Six Pass mother actually had the Byakugan, this this technically means that the Byakugan is stronger than the Sharingan, all right? All right, with that, as they kind of have been proven through my eyesight, too, how the fuck do you not see that? It pretty much gives you the greatest eyesight in, um, uh, up, uh, up in the entire show because it allows you to see in any direction. You can pretty much see people's chakra, and honestly, it gives you the ability to hit to pretty much hit the chakra points to cut it off, right? This, this, this honestly proves that, yes, these ninjas should be the most agile, they have the best precision, and guess what? They have 100% accuracy, and guess what? You can't sneak up on them because they can see any, in pretty much any uh, in any direction, well, right? Well, besides that blind spot that Neji, Daniel got Neji killed. Neji can actually get it, Neji killed. Neji can actually do that. However, give or take, man, with all of that, how is it that, man, she's constantly tripping over every rock that um, comes away? Well, he had to prove that she was useless, so it was that rock there that just hindered her for getting to her love. Which may Sakura get to Naruto. So love makes so love makes makes you weaker. You know oh, that it, the rock ain't like that cop block, so it, it had to block it. It just it, it ain't help guide the pussy to Naruto. It blocked it, so she <laughs> failed, which led to the more flat chest girl to go and try to save him, which uh, is the one that he loved. Speaking of which, man, whatever happened to her sister? What the fuck was her name? Hibuki? No, what was it? It was some shit. What the hell happened to her? She just disappeared. So, John. Remember, re um, uh, remember her um, uh, younger sister who had a very, um, uh, who had a stronger Byakugan than uh, um, um, uh, than everybody with, uh, within the clan. Remember, remember, uh, remember that. I do. The Do, um, uh, does anybody else? No. Yeah. Yeah. Another also. thing. Another thing. However. I kind of wanted to tackle this, but... I'm gonna kill you, boy. No, 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 no. We, no, no, no. You brought up Neji. 
Now what I'm about to say, cause that was that's the main thing on cause we were talking about Neji. I'm like, Neji. Now you see a lot of people saying that, well that death before I get into the death, they had a perfect opportunity to build up his character a little bit more. Like for instance, they brought his dad back to life. Why did he run across his dad and fight his dad? We could have had some type of emotional bond, you know, something between the two characters fighting each other. Something talking about him, him and, and his Hinata, father, or whatever. You know, something like that, you know, about um, um, uh, about man the superior and the lower end, you know, the lower branches much, of the Hugo crime. Pretty pretty much saying that like that, man. Even though you do have all these abilities. You, um, um, they will still not reach, uh, um, uh, reach, um, uh, respect you and possibly wait, even. Wait, wait, wait. You remember, you remember, you'll, find that, you remember you'll find that in the tournament. He actually, you know, the, the, the leader, the lord, or whatever. He said, Dang, you know, I took what will rightfully my my brother be because his, his son is so amazing and a genius. He basically strung in the actual head branches. So that basically what the uncle was practically saying because he like then like I took my brother right for praise. It's like his brother got the stronger blood, like even though they ain't a part of the main family. But honestly, here is the biggest problem with that. They, right? The way they killed him off. It is like, look, just because you spoke about this within like the first half of it, alright? If you bring back these characters you can tackle it again in a more interesting way and guess what it leads to a whole new problem in terms of saying like we seen the Neji at the beginning of the show and then honestly it was just a big jump man yeah, for like was, yeah, if you knock off the filler the beginning of the show all the way I think to with Naruto for pain if I'm not mistaken but a lot of stuff with fillers in between and you see Neji but it was filler honestly but like, listen look you ain't seen Gora since then listen look I say this a lot look if you are going to talk about a character in a show and give them character development, I do not count filler. Why? Because filler is not associated with the actual story. So, honestly, if it's something which is actually happening, okay, fine. I make it say that the story development for Shikamaru was actually a... Um, uh, it, uh, it was actually done for his character. And guess what? When, um, uh, when pretty much he got that one-up on uh, he then... It was luck, and guess uh, um, uh, and man, felt ten, uh, um, uh, and there was tension in it. It was actually something we'll like, get back to yeah, that. Again. However, oh the God. however the stuff man with Neji, it was like, yeah, man, Neji's in the war. What is he doing? Um, he's out there trying man to fight fight a clone of himself with with the kunai. Okay, then then pretty much they summon the um, uh, ten tails. He fires some spikes out there. He pushes Hinata out out of the way, and then gets hit in the back. And then he had an epic okay. flashback, and he said, "Because I was a genius." Uh, it's like, dude, that is not how you build it, up a it character. It's so epic. If he died, we were fighting. What a cool! I was Kimmel having Zeno Saga flashbacks. I swear to God, I was having Zeno Saga flashbacks. Oh God, you know, Saga three where everybody just completely just got just eradicated. But uh, before I get back into that, um, where the Skiri Maru, the, the Spider guy. We, we were fighting Neji, and Neji died then. Be more well, like, it been more redeeming, because he did a lot in Naruto. Or at least, like, man, you know, he actually had a lot of conflict. It was like he got over his thing. He grew better. We we, we actually saw him training and actually kind of, like, getting his... We got to the know the characters. Better. That's you the know, thing. This is this the whole point of this thing about this war is... You we, probably see what I mean, man, we, about side not, characters, right? I, I understand you. We did not get a better grasp for the side characters. It's just Naruto, Sasuke... And guy, and guy just they just put the eight gate there because they they could end the series without showing it. And they have been building that up ever since Rocky's character came. He just beat the anything. shit out of Madara, but here's one thing here before because they get back into Madara, but before you know we continue that he just beat the shit out of Madara to the point where Madara was well, Daniel dead. However, he absorbed the tree and he was back to normal. Render everything that guy did useless. And that's a mighty blow to a mighty character. And God Obaka died, and I remember that Jesus touched him and brought him back. Honestly, that would have been an epic redeeming deal because God did more in this show than any side character beside Kakashi. And it's uh, true. And, and also Shigeru Kamaro as well. Yeah, Shigeru as well. Speaking of Shigeru, it was irritating when he almost died. He killed try to stick out, figure out the way to beat the Ten Tail. Okay, Dad gave him. The message that never will actually explain, the, explain or the, or actually executed on screen, and he killed Dryer up, break, so he almost died. 
It's like, dude, when it comes right down, man, to most of this, it's, it's like, look, the more you actually, it's like, if you go back and you actually rewatch it, the only people who, the only battles in this thing which actually matter are Kakashi, Guy, and Naruto versus Obito. And then on the flip side of that, it is Madara versus the Hokages, in which that he instantly beat off Man, screen. He made them off screen, though. Damn, they could have had a dare to get beat up orange screen. And then, and then actually going into like the um, in uh, into the actual thing of Madara actually getting his body back, it's like really from from Jump Street. Madara has been one of those villains who pretty much just comes in and says, yes, man, I pretty much have way more knowledge of this, so therefore I should be stronger than most of you. And guess what? He was. And then it wasn't until... It wasn't until Obito stole the... Stole, stole the Nine Tails, the Eight Tails, and the First Tail, or in this case, Shikaku, from him, and then put them back into Naruto, and then the Eight Gate thing starts. It isn't... It, uh, it isn't until that point in which that you realize that Madara really isn't even trying anymore. Right, because he came in dropping meteors, second meteors, doing um, complete perfect Sasana O's, clones doing Running Sasana through O's. waves and waves Running of Running through ninja. people, making woods coming out of fucking up people. He seemed more powerful before he became the path for the sense all he say was sit path. But then again, he had more back now, he had Austin though. Now he underwhelmed me. And honestly that even kinda of goes in with like what happened within like the last chapter of Naruto. Now honestly I do have a lot of problems, man, with every single wrestling that Naruto has because I say this every time, alright? What is the point of having a different type of wrestling? When honestly, it just does the exact same thing of one hit killing somebody. Oh yeah. Also, there was a problem with the last one that um uh, came up, the gigantic lava rock singing. As cool as it was, and as cool as the explosion was, think about it like this. All right, Naruto come comes in. He got touches guy and then pretty much saves his life. Right. Okay, fine. Rock Lee comes up and does the thing. Right. However, Naru however, Naruto just threw a gigantic lava rock thing in at this tree, cut it in half, and a gigantic explosion blows up the entire area. Wouldn't he have killed Guy and Rock Lee and everybody else in the area if he had actually, you know, um, uh, if this man was like in some real form of a uh, reality, even as cool as that was, you still gotta ask, um, you still gotta ask that a uh, question, right? Yeah, but it's fishing. You know how people like my argument was about that whole. I, I, give me your eye, nigga. I hate that argument. That so argument, much. like, cause we were talking about the nerve in it, in the back of your eye. Like, how the fuck you just you it you it wouldn't work. And they thought, well, fishing, and he got guy like power. He Madara. He can he can heal instantly. That, that from what I can tell. The fuck. From what I can tell, guy kicked him in that. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, in his, uh, in his extra face heart. So yeah, he's kind of done there. He blew this whole side of his butt with a kitten on the lip. This whole side. Inconsistent. Like, seems of, like there ain't nobody's business. He but, should yeah. be dead. Now you a whole kill me. You know what's actually funny about that? Do you know what's actually funny about that? In the, in the previous chapter when he kicked him, that whole half, of, half of his body was gone. And then like he turned the page, and then like his arm was I back. Get, I guess he healed. And then when Naruto was dealing with him, he had the arm again. It's like. I know, um, uh, first off, that is not healing. That is possibly just they're a like that. They're like that day on Kingdom Hearts, we got uh, 358 days, where you see, uh, we see old girl, uh, Sion with the hood on, the hood off, the hood on, hood off. Oh, what the fuck going on with this shit? You know what I'm talking, do you see that shit? What the fuck is this? He's a radical and consistency. Oh yeah, also, I didn't, I didn't touch on the many of those, especially since my favorite one of this little part right here is Logan Naruto. video in the history of our videos. We stopping this jump uh, in a few seconds, but, but listen, before we end this video, I really gotta say this, look. I know a lot of people, they really like Naruto. Honestly, I'm not as big of a fan, but honestly, I do kind of see its purpose. And really, it's not pissing me off, but give or take with what the show is, it's not bad, but at the same time, it isn't at the level in which that people kind of put it at, because at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, man, we watch it, we watch it for action. And also, 
I wanted to say that with every inconsistency that is in Naruto, my most favorite one of this one, or at least of the war arc in this case, is Naruto. If you go into Biju mode, you cannot make more than two clones. What does he do? He make thousands of them. Uh, you notice that, like, he's, the Kill B said that inside of the cave that it's gonna draw up and kill you, it can do this. And then as soon as he finally get there, after he to make all Rossini Rengaki, the tail Rossini, and he slam him on top of the Rossini, he made a lot of clones that shot a pack that make more clones into BG mode. I look like, how oh, is he doing this? Also, hey, hey, everyone, you all like that um, uh, Lava Rossini, right? Remember, remember, uh, remember when I said he took the first eight and nine tails? Remember, remember that? Who did he ask me for, man, the chopper man, to make that damn thing? The third tail. But remember, he got the blessing for the other ones that he fought them. Blessings really don't mean all that much. He didn't because, technically get them inside Because of them. technically... He should have held the first, because technically the if, if, eight, uh, and ninth, but he somehow got the third in there. Because technically, if he had the blessings, guess what? He wouldn't have died. Yeah, all these power-ups is annoying, because at first he was badass age, but he... He Kibu mode and then he Bijou mode and now he says a Sip Pal mode. So like four power ups, like the three the same art, and then and then one the art before. Like I kind I don't really make a lot of videos talking about my arguments of Naruto, but honestly the gigantic power boost which constantly kept on happening with throughout Man, King of uh, King of Lightning territory with this damn uh, minute thing. I said this a while ago. Be that unexpected wonder if you keep on going. Again, dude, this is our last one. Listen, look, I kind of <laughs> said this a while ago, but I'm like, look, I know that that a lot of people like like man compare Naruto to Dragon Ball Z, but I'm like, look, at the very least, Dragon Ball Z when they made Super Saiyan, they pretty much waited at least at least until the end of like another arc to kind of bring out Super Saiyan too. They kind of made this back to back and shit. He was, I mean, only Super Saiyan that, I mean, Super Saiyan 1, it was like a great battle between. Two evil. It would be two, three Goku and Frieza. It was so amazing. It was still even to a to, to, to a, a point. To a, to Frieza start Jeremy down to keep power and not do the fact that he gets ass beat. He can't keep up the war. Of course, of course. All right, like, so now which go on for a sale. Cell got his ass beat mostly through it. But. But, but but honestly, here is the point. Gohan ended up getting hurt, and he has to struggle still. But I uh, but 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 that but that is my point though. I is know that for Naruto, it we don't see a struggle here. Is the uh, the uh, pretty much the closest thing to a struggle when they both when, died at the same time is when like he fought pain, which that honestly even that that honestly really wasn't even all that much of a struggle because how did he kill most of those pains? That pain or. Is literally the best art because it kind of feels more man like a natural thing where whereas that he actually had to like think up man ways ways to beat him. However, like I said, Rasengan was stupid. This arc is kind of stupid. You know, the only really saving grace of it is the fact that the Hokages came back and that you know we actually and they were completely underwhelming too. Man, you see, we could this video if we keep on going with this, this video is going to be long as hell. But like I said, they now, came out. Now, honestly, to stop this video from actually becoming an hour, guess what, everybody? We have to end it. So wait, yes. Wait, wait, it's something that I wanted to say. I can't even think of it. What was it? Fuck, 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 fuck. I don't know. It's it's it's. It pause was, it, 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 it. Pause was, the video and think about it. No, 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 no. I'm good. Good. It was there. Now it's gone. But oh, right. Kawakai go with that whole Dragon Ball Z thing, which you were saying mm -hmm. before we knock off. Like, we go for got Suicide Mode Three, for instance. Mm -hmm. Now, he still got his ass beat by a kid. Boom. When Goku went to Suicide Mode 4, Bad Beat, but he'd be his ass still. It's so, the only time it's he dominated struggling. was Super Saiyan Mode 4 fusing. That when they dominated, but they also, still turned out. Every back time Goku and, uh, and uh, Vegeta fused, they were pretty much unstoppable. Going going from Super, Super Saiyan 2 Gogeta to. Pretty much, um, uh, Vegito to even Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta. I mean, honestly, those were by far his, their uh, strongest modes. However, that is taking two powerful warriors and matching their power up together. They tried with Naruto, basically give Sasuke the eye and give Naruto the body. Actually, man, when it comes right down into it, it's like, look, and they I, using the powers better than Madara. I think JV Uchiha said that. Yes, he did. And honestly, when it comes right down man, to uh, some shit like that, it's like, look. 
Ain't no problem, man, with people who like this show, but honestly, for people who put it up upon the pedestal of, like, the greatest anime ever, honestly, the shit is at Bleach Terror Territory now. And yes, I said Bleach Terror terror Territory. The only really, the, the only real difference is, is, uh, is, um, uh, the fact that they still have story shit pop, um, uh, um, planned up. Because, because I guarantee you this, if, uh, if, uh, Madara, if he gets both of his eyes, even if he does regain and fix his entire body, honestly, he cannot match up to Sasuke's Sharingan, or, um, uh, or pretty much his Rinnegan as well. And honestly, he can't match up, man, to pretty much Naruto's, um, 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 uh, false sage of sex pass mode because they're too fucking powerful for him and there's nothing he may can do. And you Honestly, know that the good guy's gonna win any damn way. I mean, there really is, I mean, like, with what kind of, kind of doing, um, uh, with, with what happened in, uh, in the last chapter with him firing down lightning and they got right by that with them pretty much teleporting and destroying, even with Sasuke just effortlessly cutting him in half. It's like, what's the point now? Hey, damn, not even a guy super kick could cut him in half, so... I don't know, he made Guy look completely unawareing. Can You can't just make Guy do something so epic, so Put his amazing. life on the line. Put his life on the line. And known as that, man, that this is by far the strongest thing, man, which pretty we much trumps every scene. And then villain. you bring these two characters in that tops it. You mm. should destroy a beautiful moment. Nah, that's pretty much what we gotta say. That's the whole thing I say. I mean, actually, we have more, but I man, kinda, this should be long. We got, we got part two. We have we, more, and honestly, we promise well, that like the next video we make of this. And yes, when the hell am I going? And yes, we this yes we two months from now. yes and yes we will do this for other animes. Guess what? Magical Warfare is it is getting its day. Um, I did schedule another video talking about why the Magical War um um uh, Magical Warfare failed, but. Honestly, we have to talk about that shit. So yeah, until then, this has been Anime Talks. I have to give this shit a title. This 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 has been Anime Tech. Um, I'm a talk with Deshaun, Jonathan. Man, we could make this shit a series. Of course, of course we could. When like, anime, like, over. Ha anime talk, anime rant. When yeah, anime is like over. That. Yeah. But anyway, um, have a good one. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Keep rocking anime. Keep playing video games. And, and have a good one. And Peace do out. not hate us for making these long ass videos. We love all of you. Peace out.